Hello, my darlings. How are we all doing today? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the first part of Ashwood Barn. Ashwood Barn is on the adjacent lot to where we were building in Brindleton House. Now, in my head, we'll go a bit more into what this barn used to be and stuff in a minute. It is home to the DuPonts. Rose DuPont and Leon DuPont. Now, Rose is the estranged daughter of Lady Penelope and Graham's. She was put up for adoption when she was young because he was naughty and had an affair with Lady Penelope. And she was pregnant and she didn't want the town talking so she gave Rose up for adoption. But again, we'll go into that a little bit more in a minute. Now, the aesthetics that I want to do today. Let me whiffle over this way. My mic make, might make a bit of a noise. This is what I want to go for. Something along this kind of line. So, very modern. But I want the interior to be kind of bohemian. Still modern as well. Um, They have got a very much of a goth aesthetic, these two, that I'm going to introduce you to in a minute. But I just thought this... Would look, really, would look really nice um, kind of in the world. A nice modern build just to cut through all of the classic stuff that we've been doing at the minute. And we'll go for something like this. So that is what we're going to do today. Yes, we are. I have got nothing more to say until we get into game. Um, we'll make a start on the front exterior today. And I'll introduce you to the DuPonts as well. So without further ado, let's get over and do that. So my loves, Story time is go. Now, this is where we're going to be building today on this lot here. So it is just literally next door to Brindleton House. Now, this would have been, I think, where all the cattle were stalled. Um, this is where all the cattle would have grazed. Before these roads were put in, this would have been like big like farmland area. Uh, and this barn is going to be kind of like a modern addition. That we're going to have original part of the building and then we're going to add on the modern kind of barn extension onto the side. That's what we're going to try and do today. Like that picture that I showed you, kind of like that. So if you see me looking over when I'm building, I'm trying to get that reference into play. Now, these are the two that are moving in. We have Rose Dupont and Leon Dupont as well, which is her husband. He's very attractive and that's just me all over. I'm, um, I like to make my Sims beautiful. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, remember? Now, this is Rose. Rose is Lady Penelope's and Graham's daughter. She was given up for adoption, as I said, when she was a baby because she was kind of born into an affair that was going on between them when Graham was still married. And rather than cause conflict between the families of Brindleton Bay, Rose, Rose was put up for adoption and she actually was actually brought up in France by a French couple, the DuPonts, that I'm going to be actually making in um, Windenburg. We're going to actually be putting them in Windenburg. So there's a tie between these two families between the worlds. Um, but she always found like she really wanted to know her biological parents. So she went on a hunt, was hunting them down, going through records and whatnot. And then it came across that she was born because her parents had an affair and she actually confronted them, which caused this huge conflict, which is the reason that Graham and Penelope are now together. Oh, it's dramas, loves, absolute dramas. And um, yeah, she came here to live. She came here to live. She struck up a friendship with them. Um, and she's actually got a good relationship as well with her brothers and sisters, that Graham, um, or Graham's sons and daughters. Um, so because they're all related, they're um, stepsisters, steps it will be stepsisters, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't be. What would it be? Half sisters, half sisters, half sisters and half brothers. Um, and yeah, she decided on moving to Brindleton Bay to try and rekindle this relationship. Her job has also brought her to Brindleton Bay as well. I'm going to say that Rose is a ch children's author. She is a children's author and quite a good one too. Very, very good. She came here because she wants to bring up her family um, in a bit more of a nice coastal kind of setting. And the fact that she got given this barn from Lady Penelope because it's her right. She's actually been written into the will and whatnot as well. It's all going on. But as always, feel free guys to flesh out this storyline because I love hearing your guys' ideas. But I just thought that would be a really cool way she kind of came to find herself and ended up finding her biological family. Now, don't get me wrong, she still thinks of the DuPonts as her parents. They will always be. They brought her up well. and um, They're very creative people, artists, family. Um, 
and she's followed in the footsteps and become a writer. Now, this is her wonderful husband. They both met at university. Now, this here is the lovely Leon. Oh, hello, Leon. Those eyes could kill, I tell you that much. So, Leon is a... A painter. He is a very, very good painter as well. So we need to do a lovely paint studio in this place. Um, so they both work from home. They've both got their own office and studio, I'm going to say. Um, so we need to make that apparent when we do the floor plans and whatnot. And he's French. He's French as well. I reckon they, as they met in university, I think they travelled around a bit as well. Travelled around a bit together. And they've decided they really want to start a family. They do really want to start a family. Um, Rose really wants to be a mum um, and she thought the best place to bring them up would be near the sea uh, in a little bit of a quieter setting, near some good schools and whatnot. Um, so that's what she's going to do. That is what she's going to do. But I just thought these two together just, I love them. I love their fashion sense as well. They're very bohemian goth, we're going to say. Very bohemian goth, which I do want to kind of like reflect in the place that we build as well. So in the house that we build, um, we're going to reflect that. So that's what it is. But as always, guys, feel free to flesh out these storylines because I'd be very interested to sort of see. Um, she's actually going to be pregnant as well. I'm going to make her pregnant with the save file. So you guys will have a chance to bring up the baby and whatnot. I don't want any toddlers or a baby or anything. I just want her to be pregnant. So you guys have got this like added little bonus when you do play with these households and whatnot. So there are going to be... Um, uh, a nice little bit of storyline coming from these two, I reckon. I'm kind of interested. And I reckon Penelope doesn't, obviously, like the way her daughter dresses or the fact that her tattoos, but she, that is her as a person. She's a carefree spirit. Um, I reckon she's very heavily into maybe, I don't know, maybe some kind of like wellness, that kind of sort of vibe, maybe a bit of yoga meditation. So we'll make that apparent as well. Um, she's, as I said, creative. So we need to make sure we get all of those bits um, in this house. So that's what we're going to do. But again, guys, feel free to flesh out the storyline for this family because I love hearing about it. I really do. So enough has been said. Let's get into the guild, guild mode. No, the build mode. And we're going to start building. Right then, my little darlings. Here we go. We're going to make a start. We're going to make an absolute start. Yes, we are. How are you lot doing? I hope you're okay. Um, thank you to you guys that came to uh, the stream yesterday playing some Planet Zoo with me getting frustrated with the build mode. <laughs> it's so much more in-depth and difficult than the Sims 4 build mode. And um, I had lots of you guys there helping me out and we just had a good old time. Um, so in the next few months, in the next coming months, be sure to look out for some Planet Zoo content on this channel because I'm definitely going to be doing... Maybe I'll start off with some speed builds and then maybe we could do some other little let's build parts as well once i've really got to grips with the build mode um i'll start bringing it to the channel a little bit more uh so be on the looks out for that my darlings i think that'll be fun that will be fun so this is going to be the main barn area yes it's quite small but we're not going to let that come between us um i'm going to do a nice little roof line over here and then the modern extension is going to be the bit at the bottom uh, the kind of black, but I still want it to have that kind of barn feel to it as well. So we're going to definitely do that. Uh, so let's whiffle this across. This might house maybe the bedroom. Uh, one to two bedrooms in here. I think I'm going to do two bedrooms because they're going to have a kid coming. So we need to make sure that we're going to fit in a nice little bedroom uh, into this house. Yes, we are. Yes, we are indeed. Uh, also, guys, if I am live tonight on Twitch as well. I know I keep going on about Twitch, but... I am live tonight on Twitch um, for the final time this week. Don't forget there's no video coming out on Friday. And also the next part of this, you'll see me in the same t-shirt because I'm going to be pre-recording it as well. So just letting you know, loves. All right, thanks. Thank you. So do I want to do a red brick? I don't think so. I think I want to do like an old stone building. Uh, and I'm thinking about using this little number here. Unless we go grey with it. Because grey would go really lovely with... Um, the black kind of extension on the front. Oh, yeah, I think I might. I don't know. I, I don't know because the brown would look great as well. Let's try the brun as well because that would look really. Oh, that's nice actually. We'll go for that one. It's it's, it's kind of like a grey sort of browny color anyway, isn't it? So we'll go for that one. Uh, tile wise, I'm unsure about tiles on the top here to be honest. Um, probably just gonna go for some nice slate, some old slate looking tiles. 
uh, with a little inset of this here as well. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, yes. So very simple. Not sure what windows we're going to be putting on there yet, but we can easily do that in just a second. I want to get the main kind of structure down first. Now, this is kind of, this like reference image, the barn kind of comes over the side of it. I'm not sure I want to, oh, I might actually do that because it'd be cool to put an entrance there. Oh, that could be really nice, actually. Let's have a little look. Let's get down to this level. If I can do like the barn coming and it comes all the way across here, but it's kind of inset as well. Let me get out one of those doors just so I can see. Because in my head, I'm going to use those big glass slidey doors. And I might do quite a low profile one. Oh, that could be nice. Oh, yeah, I think we will. Yes, I think we'll do that. It's making me almost want to move this back slightly more. So I think I'm going to do that as well. We're going to move this back. So we've got a little bit more of a frontage going on. Uh, and I'll just pop that right there like that. Yeah, I think that will work better. Lovely. And then come across here as well. I think I'm going to go to around about there with the barn. Or the extension. But I still want it to kind of resemble a barn. If you get my drift. And I think... Will that be enough space? Maybe go back one more. Let's see what kind of space we're going to get from that. And I don't think I'm going to go up another level. I'm going to keep this down on this level here. Um, Yes, but it's almost making me want to come out there as well with it for some reason. I think we should do that. In fact, I'm going to do one more. I am going to do one more on this side here. So that's kind of balanced in the middle of that area. Yes. Now I thought... I don't know whether to use this here, which is that lovely like corrugated number, or actually go in with this, which is that kind of shipping container vibe. Mm, um, what one do I prefer? I think I prefer that one. That one there just looks a little bit more agricultural to me. Look at me using big fancy words, if you ever. Thank you. Um, roof line, I think. Let's get the main, let's get the main roof line to here. I think this is going, this is, this is how I'm going to do it. Bring you all the way along to around about here. I'm going to dip, let me get you up there so we can get a good height going on. Right, I think so. And then the same with the roof, I'm going to use this. And I might go for the pure black one with this, so it's a real... Mm, that does look good, but let me try the silver. Oh, that does look nice as well. Now, I prefer the black. The black's going to be a little bit more, you know, je ne sais quoi. And that's what I want for this build. I really do. Really do. Yeah, I think so. And then, and then, what I'm probably going to do is use a half gabled flop you, flaps in, flop you down there, darling. Maybe even tucking this flap here in and then dragging this into here. I might even bring that profile down just a tad more to there and drag you along to say there. I, I, I do want to drag it all the way to there, but I don't know if I'm... No, 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 that would be fine, actually. Oh, I kind of like that. Let me get you on there so I can see what we're working with. Show me what you're working And then put you there. Oh, I do like this. And then if, as soon as I get this in, I think that glitch is going to just disappear. It does look. Oh, I'm kind of into that. I'm unsure about this door now, though. I won't lie. I might use a different door there. But I think that is a good, like, blue, like, footprint. Do you know what I mean? Because we're definitely going to have enough space to put in, like, a studio and an office in here. Plus, what I'm thinking is, obviously, main entrance... Well, not obviously. I always say that, and it's never bloody obvious. Main entrance on this side here. Uh, I'm probably just going to take this wall down, all parts of it, uh, and do a full floor plan down here with kitchen, living room, uh, the office spaces, and then up above, I think I'm going to do the two bedrooms in these rooms, maybe? So we only need a small bedroom for the child. Yeah, I think that might even be the ticket. So let me have a little play around because I do need to find some windows, some doors. Um, 
And I'm going to set out a little floor plan as well. So give me two biscuits and I'll be right back. So things had to change slightly then. I've had to make the actual old barn area a little bit bigger. I've made it a bit wider just so it comfortably fit two bedrooms in. And I've also had to change the roof line as well. So I've gone with half gabled roofs all the way around just because it allows me to put a skylight into the kitchen dining area. Um, so that's what I've done there. I've done that. I'll show you the floor plan quickly. Uh, so this is what we've got. We've got the main entrance here. You're going to come through this way. This is the kitchen and dining area. Uh, we're going to be putting windows and stuff in here in a minute. Uh, this is the original wall going on there. You come through to this area. This is going to be the main living room. This is going to be a bathroom downstairs. And this is going to be a bit more of like a little mini study. But I still want maybe... A mm, Maybe access in by means of putting like an arch there or like a square arch just so it doesn't feel too separated off. But just a little separate moment where they can come and read a book and look out at the greenery and stuff around them. And then we, over here, we've got the art studio and office, depending on which way we want to put them in. Uh, and then over into the main farmhouse, you come... Oh, I keep saying farmhouse. It's Barn Aiden. You come up here. Um, I don't like the way those stairs are wrapping around there, actually. I might actually just put the stairs default like that because then that gives us more room here. Uh, bedroom, small child's bedroom. And then we've got the master bedroom here with an ensuite at the top as well. Uh, I just thought that was a better sort of like vibe. Now, these are the windows that we're going to be using. So let's start getting them on now. Um, so we, I'm, I'm using the ones from Island Living. I love this slidey door from Island Living. I just think it would really, really suit this house. So I'm going to use these windows here. I'm going to copy that over to the other side. We need to make sure it's directly underneath of that skylight area there. Oh, beautiful. Yes, I'm for it. Um, I don't know. I'm using this door here. This is going to be the main entrance door. It's the eco lifestyle one. I just think that suit it. Now, I thought these like picture windows would be perfect and like, I don't know if I like it on the front or not yet. I might do a smaller one there. I'm going to do a smaller one there. And then I'm going to put these picture windows directly central um, into the office and the studio space. Now, is that in the middle, that one? I don't think it is. No, it's not. How dare you? Oh, neither, neither are you. How dare you, too? Uh, I might even do the picture window on the back here as well. But I don't want it on the front of the house. I'm thinking like a smaller modern window on the front of the house so maybe i could use the one from snowy escape that slightly more mm, even this here would look good just so it has got a little bit of light like flooding in and we have got a window on that space as well we'll get rid of you it might work out if i put one on this side as well unless i find a bit more of a longer modern window i mean these would look good as well they do look nice um let me have a little think yeah we're gonna go for these ones here from snowy escape these are from snowy escape as well i thought i think i might have said eco lifestyle they're not they're not from eco lifestyle so original part of the house i'm thinking let's get down to business let's um maybe flop this one in these are going to be quite high aren't they eh, no that's not too bad actually that isn't too bad i thought that was going to be much higher I'm going to flop these on the front here. Now, I reckon the original door, barn door, would have been here. But we don't really have anything that can kind of reflect that if I'm not using custom content. So I'm not going to... Right, I'm going to flop up a chimney onto this side. Uh, do I want to go up one more? I might even go up one more. Let me see this. Oh, that does give it a good vibe. Yeah, that does give it a good vibe. I might actually do that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the same brick, though. This camera is so fucking annoying. <laughs> this camera is so annoying. I don't realise how bad it is until you come back from building in another game. My lord. My lord, indeed. Yeah, my, uh, and a chimney on top. That's going to be a bit too big. It's going to be too big. But what we will do is put a lovely chimney on it. Um, and I'm thinking about just using those big, tall ones. Uh, from Cottage Living. I think they would suit it on here. We'll go for that same... I mean, that colour's not that far off, to be honest. Yeah, we can get away with that. We'll do that. 
I think I'm just going to do one in there. And then I'm going to do the usual flopper half wall around it as well. So I think I'm going to envelope it in like that. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. All the way around. Beautiful, beautiful cover girl here for it. Yeah, that's nice. Do I want like a little... I think I'm going to put a small window up there. I think I'm going to put a small window up here. Um, the only problem with this, I think, is that they don't really... Oh, no, that kind of matches in, but it doesn't because it's not got the white on it. Um, that's... Oh, no, this one has. Oh, perfect. Maybe a little circle window just on the top there. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. We're going to do that. And this... Oh, I think that might be a bit too high, is it? I think it might need to come down just one more beautiful job lovely lovely i can't put any more windows on this side which is a bit of a shame um and i can't do any more here either because of where the fireplace is never mind never mind it's only a boudoir it'll be absolutely fine we're gonna place these on the back here as well so we've got the smaller bedroom here i'm gonna plop one there i'm gonna oh actually i could probably Go a little bit wider with that filth and plop you down here as well are you on the right height there you are and then another one here and then above this one i'm gonna do the smaller square number if i can find that right tone again come on where are you there we are just into the bathroom i'll flop you up like that oh that's not right i mean you could go there I mean, it's only an ensuite as well, so it doesn't need to be too massively lit. I'm into it. Into it, I am. The only problem with back here. Oh, no, that could be fine, actually. That could be fine. I was just thinking bathroom's going to go back here, so I don't really fancy having the bathroom with a big window, but I reckon we're going to be all right. Right, are you fine there? You are. And then you can go there, my darling. And then you can go there, but there... And then down here as well with this one. Ah, oh, I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Don't don't ask. <laughs> Just don't bother asking. Uh, and a little window like that as well on that side. Oh, I'm I'm here for it. So maybe this was like the original barn, but they've just updated it. Maybe we could go along the the lines of that kind of vibe. Um, but I'm liking how that footprint's looking now. I am. I am very much liking it. Are you higher than... No, you're not. I thought you were higher than the other one then. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. So we're going to concentrate on the front area just a little bit today. Um, we're not going to get massive amounts done. Um, so I reckon... Let me just pull out some nice little... Um, landscapey pieces and we'll just concentrate on maybe just making these front areas just here at the minute just looking a bit nicer and then when we get back tomorrow which will be in a minute for me we'll start decorating everywhere else and i don't think i'm going to put a fence around this lot i think i'm going to keep this completely open to all of this element maybe this all belongs to this area you know i'm thinking along those lines so let me get some beautiful landscapey bits so what I've done is I've lifted a foundation up just a little bit. Just a little bit here. Just so it makes it look a little bit more interesting, I think. And I'm into that. I really am. Uh, we're going to do... I think we're going to do a lovely black wood on the floor in the interior. And I'm thinking about trying to make it a little bit more rustic looking. So if I can place you like here, I think so. Or maybe go for a charcoal grey. No, we'll go for that colour which is the charcoal grey, to be honest. <laughs> um, moving into the interior. Yeah, we'll put that wood all the way through. I think that'd be gorgeous on the inside. But maybe with some fresh white walls and everything in there is going to be lots of blacks and greys. Um, but maybe some warmer... I don't know. I don't know. Warmer woods? No idea. Now, I thought these looked really nice. Um, I did say we were going to find landscapey bits, but I went off on one and was just like, do you know what? I think I'm going to make this just have greenery by the points of plants put around strategically, including some ivy. I got these out, but I'm not really feeling the white flowers. I think we'll climb this one up with ivy around here. I think that would be really nice. And then on this bit here, what I was thinking was about adding in a little fence on this side here. Um, 
so we can have a little area where they can grow some fresh fruit and veg and whatnot. I reckon they would partake in a little bit of gardening. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I don't think I'm going to do a gate. I'm just going to leave it open like that. Um, and then that'll be a lovely view out, like looking at all of your plants growing when you're working and whatnot. Very inspiring. Very inspiring is that. Yeah, I'm into that. I am absolutely into it. It almost makes me want to put a bit of texture somewhere on one of these walls. Um, and I might even try and do that by finding that little thing for... Is it in here? Yes, this here. I might even try to put a bit of texture on the wall. Like some wood texture. Let me see what it would look like with dark wood. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I do like that. Let's see if we can do this. Let me plop you to there, you to there. I'd have to overlap them slightly on parts, but I don't really mind that. That looks shit. <laughs> we don't like that. We absolutely do not like that. So I'm going to clamber over to this side and start doing some ivy. I'm thinking I might just put that like that there. So there is a little bit of shelter where the front door is concerned. I might even just come over quite a bit, actually. Let me see. Yeah, I don't mind that. It might look nicer if I put a little pillar down this way. The only problem with that is I don't think I'm going to be able to make that any taller, um, nor go in the right spot. Can I make you? Oh, no, I can, because it's not connected in. Oh, lovely. Yes, that's nice. A little bit of architectural detail. Now I'm going to cl clamber this ivy over, as we were saying before I was once again getting distracted. Um, you will need to go... Oh, God. In fact, what I'm going to do is put that one up higher, like there. So it will come down with that wall, and then you can come here and connect it in, my darling. Uh, you can go like there. We're going to size them down as well, just to make it look all natural. Oh, I'm for it. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm going to wrap some around that way, I think. So we're going to clamber over here. I don't want to get rid of that window, though. So let me just do that there. Round to there. Start sizing it down a bit more. And again, please. Thank you. You to like, where are you going to connect? There we go. Nope, stop it. And a bigger bit like there. Just make sure that window's free and then I'm going to wrap it around this side. Just make sure that they're hefty on that side. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. But do you know what? That's the vibes that we're going for. I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Uh, next time, so on Thursday, we'll come back and we'll just start putting in more detail. Putting in more detail to the exterior. I think I want to envelope this area in a little bit more with some trees. Um... Rather than, and I might do some bushes, but I do want to envelope this area in a little bit more with some trees. So we'll make sure we'll start doing that as well. But we're going to leave this part here for today, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow um, wearing the same clothes. Um, and once again, um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some lovely comments um, because I'll be very interested in what you think of this new family and where the storyline is going to take us. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.